In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my favorite concept out of Gun Tight. It's actually super simple, able to beat pretty much every single coverage, and it's going to incorporate the shallow cross concept that I've talked about from the Air Raid. Now, if you wanna get my entire tight offset, tight end offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Link is in the description if you wanna check that out. Now, you need, in my opinion, any scheme, you have to have a power play. And we're going to create that out of tight offset. Now, there's actually multiple powerful plays in this formation. That's a sign of a really good offense. Um, and we're going to go through some of those this week with you guys. But PE shot seems we're going to flip this play because I have a left-handed quarterback. Let me show you why this is important. If I run it like this, you're going to notice that the handoff animation that Brunel takes is pretty long. And it's actually kind of an awkward handoff animation. This is because he is left-handed. OK, now, if I put the back to my left handed side and run play action on this side, you're going to see I get a much faster handoff animation and then I can you know, make my throw against whatever blitz that they're going to be facing. Another reason why I like play action is because it dumbs out most blitzes in the game. And this has been a thing for a couple of years now. So what's the route combination that I like to use from PA shot scenes? There's actually two that are, are primarily, I think, really good. Actually, technically three, actually, now that I think about it, that we're going to be going over. But the first one and the one we're going to be going over today is a slant post concept or shallow cross concept. And what a slant post concept is, is it's a, it's a concept designed to manipulate the user in the middle of the field and really just it's a concept that's great year over year. And also, it's kind of one of those plays that year over year is really successful at attacking man coverage, which is kind of the meta still. A lot of people are still sitting in man coverage a lot. Uh, five man pressure with man coverage behind it is kind of definitely, I think, becoming the meta if it wasn't already. Uh, so what are we going to do to beat it? Well, we're going to run this play. And the other thing that's really nice about tight is you get uh, bumping animations. And you'll also notice not only do you get bumping animations but your routes they run quicker from tight they can because they're in compressed and they get across the field really really quick so crossing routes are really valuable so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slant our slot receiver which is Tyreek Hill then our tight end here we're going to put we're going to have either slot apprentice or hot route master and we're going to put him on a post now if you do not have tight end apprentice put him on a smart routed in Put him on a smart round in. Super simple. Okay. Um, your first read here is this quick out right there. That is actually a very underrated route in this game. And it's really effective. So let me show you some other coverages that you're going to face. Uh, cover. Let me go zone real quick. Just to show you, a lot of people do go to zone when you go to tight. What you'll see here is if they don't play hard flats on this, that route is going to be wide open every single time. That was cover four. I'll show you cover three. Uh, cover three has curl flats on it. And so that was a quarter flat. Here's a curl flat. You're going to notice pass lead down and outside. If they don't have flat zone knockout, which most people don't run flat zone knockouts, that's going to be a catch animation every single time. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to play hard flats. Now, I will tell you, a hard flat doesn't even always stop it because he gets so outside. And the, the you see the bumping logic in this game is ridiculous. And this is honestly why I think that Ty is so freaking good this year is because of stuff like that, like where they just bump. Like they just bump. Like let's say they're running. Let's say they're running uh, cover three from a look like this. Like this is actually a very popular way to run cover three this year. If you watch this hard flat, because he's already inside so much, it's very difficult for him to get outside. Uh, so again, we'll put the slant, the post concept. You'll see here uh, that time he did get outside, but guess what? I can throw. Then I can throw my slant. And I love the timing of tight offset. I think the tight offset uh, does such a good job at giving you good timing that you can really use to attack both man and zone. So another really good valuable piece to this. Now let's say that they base the line, and let me just kind of let me show you something else here real quick. So. We're going to baseline press and put a hard flat out there. Now the hard flat has what I call outside leverage. It just means he's more outside than the than the flat route is. 
And if he is more outside than the flat route is on the speed out, you'll see here that if I try to throw this, now all of a sudden he plays it. So the real solution for the opponent is to play hard flat coverage and to have that player be outside of the other player. It's why dollar is one of the reasons why uh, dollar is really, really, really good. Okay. So we'll just say, just for sake of argument, that they can stop that quick out with either press man-to-man -man coverage or a hard flat. So now, if they're in, let me go back actually to cover one, now that I think about it. Um, so let's say that they are in, you know, press man-to-man -man coverage. Now, all of a sudden, this right on the right is going to be harder to hit, but it's going to open up a lot of stuff for us over the middle of the field. So we're going to go out route once you read there, then we're going to be looking to the slant. Notice how effective that slant is at attacking man coverage. Most people, when they see that you're going to tight, they're going to be really concerned to try to stop you outside. So you get a lot of shaded outside looks. And when they start shading outside to stop your corner routes, now, like that route, which I should have waited a little bit because of the yellow, but that route is going to be wide open. Both of your crossers have a lot of value because, you know, even if they don't shade outside, you're still going to be able to beat man. But the beauty of this is, you see the slants open. Look how open that post route is across the field, as you can see right there. Okay, so really, really good man beater. Now, another little piece to this, this is not a every time, pretty much every time against off man this happens. Um, it does depend a little bit on how they're playing their man. But if you watch this faded out, this little out route right here, or this, um, not out route, but um, little fade route, you see that he gets over the top of any kind of cover, cover zero, uh, and, and sometimes cover one, honestly. So if he does, if they're not playing, you know, safety help, if they're not giving their safeties help on the outside of this play, this is another thing that can really hurt the opponent. You see how he just runs by the guy. So. Keep that in mind as well as like that's a read too. So again, your progression system, what I like to do is I like to read out route to slant to post to fade. Now, as you see right there, what you've got to do is free form it up and out to get the separation that you want to get against man coverage. So see here, hopefully we'll have enough time. Free form up and out. There you go. Boom. And you're beating man coverage outside. So I love this play against man. Now, how does this play work against zone? Let's say that the user takes this slant route, okay, um, which is probably going to happen because it gets really wide open. Um, so they take the slant route. Now, if you wait on this, you can freeform down the post over in that little pocket right there, as you can see. So this funnels the defense into specific different coverages that you're going to see. One of the coverages that's really popular, especially against tight, is this right here, which is basically a double flat. And they're going to kind of trust this yellow um, to guard the post for a little bit. What you'll see here is you can actually throw this right in that little pocket and ag it. Um, as soon as you see the user taking the slant route. The other thing that I want to quickly hit on before we take off for the video is this right here. So the other thing that's really important is let's say that they're using in the middle of the field and they kind of lurk this and then they kind of bounce back here. You can throw this slant route. You have a lot of window uh, to throw the slant route. You'll see right here. I can throw that over in that little pocket right there. Now, if they have flat zone knockout, that's one thing. But generally speaking, most people aren't going to be running flat zone knockout on the corners. Going to be running deep zone knockout. So, um, the beauty of this play is it just attacks the meta really well, and it's just really hard to user it because tight the routes run so fast, and that's one of the big value adds. Like that's one of the reasons why this formation is so good and so difficult to defend. Now, let's say you are on the left hash mark and they're playing a lot of zone, like they're not really playing man coverage, then I would advise you to go ahead and streak um, Christian Kirk. The streak right here, it just clears zones better. I don't know why Varey played that so well. We should have just waited for, for a second. He would have crossed him. Um, but this, this, this plays zones really, really well. So... Uh, or manipulate zones better. So you'll see here, you still have your speed out, um, you know, but you see there, you know, my tight end standing wide open. I don't know why the pass rush is this terrible in practice mode. It's insane to me. Like, you can't do anything. Um, but anyway. 
I probably complain about the pass rush too much. <laughs> but anyway, what you'll see here is if I have time, see I can throw that right in that pocket. Um, so if you put the streak out there, it just clears zones a little better. So the fade out is a little wheel route is better against man. And the, and then the other piece is better against zone. Now, if they're running, let's say they're running uh, shaded down man, just, just for illustration purposes. What you'll notice here is this fade route to Kirk. Um, you see a, it can get open deep, but honestly, shaded down does a decent job against it, especially if they press. Okay. So anyway, that is PH seams. How I like to run it, shallow cross version. Tomorrow I'm going to show you one of the best flood concepts in Madden. Literally, I think it's probably the best flood concept this year because it really attacks really any zone coverage well. And we're going to show it to you at a tight offset tomorrow. So thanks for watching. If you want to check out my full ebook on this formation, link is down in the description below.